Then Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, has met with the indigenous people of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. The meeting, which has become an annual event in Abuja Archdiocese, drew participants from various tribes of the FCT and also provided an opportunity for the Chief Shepherd to assure the people that they are not forgotten, as the Church will work closely with them to give them a sense of belonging. Sitivis Anastasia Tema completes the report. It was a gathering of priests and the people from various area council in the federal capital territory. They gathered at the Papa Grand Kuba, Abuja, for their second annual congress with the Archbishop of Abuja and the indigenous of the federal capital territory. The Holy Mass kick started the congress and it was officiated by the Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama. Reverend Father Titus Bonudazi gave the homely in the indigenous dialect. After the homely, there was an investiture of seminarians from Sacred Heart Spiritual Year Seminary. <laughs> Before the end of the Mass, the Archbishop encouraged the lay faithful to live in harmony and peace among themselves. Canada, the indigenous people were there, they swept them away. Now, the indigenous people are saying they want to be recognized, they want to be assisted. And these governments are doing just that. We hope that our Nigerian government will also do something about the indigenous populations that were here After the mass, there was entertainment by cultural dancers. The faithful spoke to CTV News. Ma Abundia Samoka Zona Dan and Fine Chen Juna, a son the moon, Domune, Masun Casa, Dun Abundaza Ai, 
This is a brainchild of the Archbishop, namely to see how we can work with the original inhabitants of the federal capital, especially the Bagi people. And what he did, we started last year by asking us to reach out to these people and bring them out. And we call it a congress or a carnival. And they started last year, and this year they came out again. And what is behind us is that so that we can interact with them and then we know exactly how the church can come in and work with them. In the Sacred Heart Spiritual Year Seminary in Paso Guagalada, inaugurated last year in October for the training of seminarians for the Archdiocese. Uh, it was the vision of the Archbishop to, you know, open up a school within the Archdiocese to train seminarians, or you can say train seminarians who are home form and who are home fed, you know. For the Archdiocese of Abuja. This gathering is a gathering of the indigenous uh, people of Abuja, cut across the Baji, the Koro, the Gwandara, and all the indigenous of Abuja. The Archbishop, who is a key and also a champion in evangelization, both urban and rural, want to carry the grassroots evangelization to the indigenous people of Abuja. And so that was why this gathering is primarily to motivate, to encourage, and to promote grassroots evangelization. Basically, my expectation is the fact that they are going to take over from some of us, and they are the future of the church. Uh, so we are grooming them to become priests of their own time as well, priests after the heart of God, uh, the heart of Christ, and uh, that they are able to minister to the people uh, whom God is going to entrust to their care. So we are basically preparing them holistically, both in terms of spirituality, both the intellectual aspect of it, both the pastoral aspect of it, and also the human aspect of it, so that they are groomed and formed in such a way that they become matured people, matured priests who will be able to take care of God's own people at the end of their training. We, the indigenous people, we feel We've, we have been feeling and we've opted now, we see feel that yes, we are neglected and we are, we are sidelined. We are not being uh, given much attention. But with the coming of the Archbishop, His Grace, Most Reverend the Dr. Uh, Ignatius Ayo Kaigama, at least we feel at home, we are now together. With this uh, second Congress, as we did the first one, it was indeed very wonderful. And most of our people were able to come out to show how they are happy about the program and to also align themselves with the mission in which the Archbishop is bringing to this Archdiocese of Abuja. Anastasia Tema reporting for CTV News.